Today we're going to work on um, JKD uh, lead hand bent arm blows. Um, so basically, you know, this is a description of a hooking punch, right? <clears throat> so whether the hook, like we we're talking about on the rear, whether it comes on the horizontal line with the elbow slightly lower, whether it comes on the upward 45 or vertical up, okay? or diagonal down as an overhand, <coughs> those are representative of the bent arm blows. And um, again, for various reasons, you may want to um, investigate interchangeable tools in regards to slapping and palm strikes um, and hammers and that kind of thing, all right? But, We'll stick with the program here with the three bottom knuckles as the primary uh, striking surface for these punches and uh, do some variations on it. So, I'm going to start with the uh, closed position. All right. So, the, the idea is that the closed stance is primarily used at longer range. Okay. And the open stance is primarily used at a little bit closer range, all right? And, um, but that doesn't mean you can't use both of them outside of their primary ranges, okay? Again, there's this kind of first layer of understanding that makes it really clear what is optimal. And then there's ways to use um, the less optimal stance more optimally. <laughs> If that makes any sense to you at all. <laughs> at least make it functional, you know, instead of dysfunctional. Um, all right, so, but I'll start with the closed stance. And I'll start with the, uh, with the vertical uppercut, all right? And again, since this is isolation of the lead tools, um, it doesn't make as much sense as it will to you when you see the integration of the lead and the rear tools and the tactical switching as well as the um, putting all the tools together. Then it will begin to make some sense to you. But remember our teaching progression is isolation and then integration, all right? And uh, in, in regards to every, everything that we approach, all right? Okay, so it, it just gives you a better understanding because um, you can spend more time on, on development that way, okay? So that's one of the things, right, that Bruce Lee said and that Ted, Ted Long reiterated was that JKD is not for everyone, all right? It's a long process. So from this position, okay, all I'm going to do from where my hand is, is, is drive upward, okay? And I'm going to drive upward so that my fist passes my chin, okay? So most of the time you'll see it at least in line with my head, and sometimes you'll see it above it for, for greater penetration. Again, there's this idea of controlling depth, uh, regulating depth and penetration of your strikes, okay? As well as power. So all I'm gonna do is push forward and shoot the hips up, okay? And I'm gonna allow my rear foot to rotate as well. Again, this one is going, this is what is going under the chin. Remember what we talked about, the dinosaur arms, okay? shuffle backwards on the straight line and throw it the other cut.
Then I'm going to pivot step this way with my vertical uppercut. Basically now I'm just lifting up and setting down my feet. So in a sense you could, you could consider this a, a stationary movement. But I could also be pushing forward with the pivot or stepping off to the side slightly with the pivot as well. So as you can see, there's a lot of variations for, for simple tools based upon footwork, all right? So where was I? Oh yeah, pivot. into at that time and combine push off step with pivot step okay all right now I'm going to step backward diagonal on this line and pivot up and uh, uppercut Slip there, see? Okay. So a little stutter side step plus that movement. A little bit of a teaser for you, my buckets. Can't afford not to record. Okay, so vertical uppercut, all right? I don't know if I did all the variations or not, but we got a lot of time to, to cover it all. All right, so. Um, Okay, let's go into some uh, <clears throat> high hook variations. We already basically worked the high hook um, in the five punching series in regards to the closed stance. So I'm gonna, now I'm going to open it up a little bit. Okay. Deep, 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 deep. okay so now I'm going to open it up a little bit. And... Um, the first uh, hook that I'm going to do is a, is a side step, okay? And we did talk about this a little bit. The idea is that um, you can step and slide as you hook, or you can push step as you hook, right? So actually, we did cover this material. All right, I'm being a bit redundant, all right? So um, let's go ahead now. We did this. I don't. I'm not sure if we were doing it with. Huh. Anyway, this does ring a bell. I think we have covered this. But anyway, let's cover it again. Okay. Tell me if you get bored. <laughs> let's go get some popcorn. You'll be all right. Okay. So, yeah. To reiterate, we're, we're going to just push off step this time. In other words, it's going to we're going to be jumping to our left. Okay. And. Unless we move the opponent over in front of us, okay, as we hit them and we knock them in the direction that we step in, uh, if that happens, then I'm in a good position. <clears throat> but if that doesn't happen and they, they maintain their base and their, their position as I hit them or as I miss them or what have you, I'm going to make sure that, that I reface them at an angle here. Okay? So let me work two variations on that and I'll, and I'll alternate on those two variations each time okay and remember again one the simulation is that I, I basically knock him in front of me and he's right there 
And then the, the next simulation is that I hit him, but he maintains his position for whatever reason, and that I reface here and point back at this angle. Okay? All right. So that was the push-off step in the left direction. Primarily that is used against someone that also has their right foot forward. So that's a matched lead scenario. It's not that you can't do it unmatched leads, but the step is usually smaller and it's under uh, uh, different conditions that you may do it or not. All right. Okay. So let's go ahead and do some pivot hooks. Okay. And again, like I say, on the pivot step, I can basically just lift up and set down. I can add a push off step element into it and jump into it. I can kind of sidestep to my right laterally and work it. I can go backward diagonal with it to create a little bit more space. Okay. So let's take a look at a few of those pivot steps. pivot hook and uh, in various manners. You can work the 45 degree uppercut or shovel, shovel hook. And I will also work this with the same pivot steps that we just finished off with. Stationary pivot. Forward pivot, sideways pivot, backward pivot. Work the overhand. I'm going to work the two primary ways that I work the overhand. Okay? But you can play around with all the lines that we did. Most of the time, well, again, in, re in regards to the person having their right foot forward also. My overhand with my right would involve a tactical switch and either zigzag back into reface or pivot step around to reface. Okay, so let my variation on that movement be both of those refacings, all right? Zigzagging and pivot stepping and it involves a tactical switch because I'm stepping with my left foot in order to do my lead as a rear for the overhand.
bloody shirt's too big, I'm losing weight. It's good news. Okay, so uh, let's do the second variation on the, the overhand, okay? Second variation on the overhand, I'm going to pivot retreat. Again, so basically I've been using, I was showing you these, this line. It's the same line that crosses the center. So I empty out, <clears throat> go over the top. So I showed you two, two examples of the overhand. So you can mix and match these with all the footwork that, you've un that you understand and that you've been subjected to in regards to this video series as well as whatever other reference that you have. And again, to reiterate, we have the vertical, the diagonal. This represents the horizontal, but the elbow's a little bit lower. And the overhand with the three bottom knuckles, okay? Uh, the next thing, of course, would be to, to combine them. So let's do a little bit of that next, all right? Let's see if I can do some one, two, threes. Changed it. I went with the, the hammer fist. See? See how I am, you guys? But I, I really do enjoy improvising. Okay, that's going to do it for today, before my clothes fall off, and uh, uh, it's been a pleasure as usual, and uh, so what the crap chop being a crap. <laughs>